This week's episode of SmackDown Live continued WWE's build up to the TLC pay-per-view and also in a way a slow build to the Royal Rumble. During the entire show there was a very different atmosphere and added edge which had seemed missing from recent WWE shows. On the other hand, the show had some traits which kept it back, as repetitive matches which is a trend with WWE nowadays continue to take place. In this video we will take a look at the best as well as the worst things from this week's episode of SmackDown. If there's one thing for which WWE have to be given props, it's how they have booked their women's division. While for the longest time the company's women's revolution had seemed like nothing more than a publicity stunt, the change is now evident. Becky Lynch, Asuka, and Charlotte kicked off this week's show with a contract signing, and it's safe to say it was an extremely engaging segment. All three are well respected by WWE and the segment held the attention of the crowd. If there's one thing on SmackDown that has always stood out, it's the tag team division. This was a point which was driven home yet again on this week's episode. Ahead of their match at TLC, representatives from the New Day, Cesaro and Sheamus as well as the Usos all competed in a triple threat match on SmackDown. The match was one of the best on the show and saw the re-emergence of the big swing from Cesaro. He carried Woods on his shoulder at one point while swinging around Jey Uso. In the end, the Usos won with Cesaro eating the pin, but this could be a cog in a potential split between Cesaro and Sheamus. Daniel Bryan was one of the most popular stars for a long time, but recently he has put that all behind him when he turned his back on the universe, adopting a new personality instead. This week he gave a glimpse into his new psyche on Ms. TV. He blamed each member of the universe for being hypocrites and destroying the climate. He continued the same thread when commentating during the main event. This show, in a sense, was all about Daniel Bryan, and the new heel Daniel Bryan may be one of the best things about WWE currently. Bryan's later focus on attacking Styles and attempting to injure him only hammered in that point further, that the old Daniel Bryan no longer exists. Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton had one of the best feuds of 2018 earlier in the year. It felt special and like something which had not been done previously. At this point, however, the two have been in innumerable matches. This is a case, once again, of WWE trying to continue doing something which had been successful once before. The two have faced each other so many times that it has become difficult to care when they go at it again. This was exactly what happened on SmackDown as well when the two met in the ring. On this occasion, Samoa Joe caused a distraction which saw Orton come away with the win. While the women's division has never been in a better shape than it currently is, there are some aspects of the division which do need to change. It's important to push the younger talent in WWE, but with WWE currently giving Mandy Rose a big push, old issues have surfaced once again. Issues where WWE gives pushes depending on how a person looks rather than their actual talent. Rose is still green in the ring, something which won't be a bother after a few more years of experience. For now, however, Rose is not deserving of this push she is getting, something which was evident by the botches she made during her match today. These are the best and worst things on SmackDown Live this week. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more videos.